Cameron, can I borrow your Atari Jaguar? Because I'm trying out for the high school esports team, and I say Jaguar because I'm f foreign. Um, you are, you're 27 years old. You cannot join the high school esports team. You're way too old. Cameron, that's ages. That's ages well, right Well, I didn't there. make the rules. Are you fucking kidding me? I can do whatever I want! Uh, apparently, uh, esports is gonna be a thing in high school now. Uh, the high school sports association, or whoever the fuck, whatever they're called, is sanctioning esports leagues. State leagues, just like football, basketball, the whole fucking thing. There's gonna be, like, the boards and approvals and championships and all that shit. So that's fucked. Imagine uh, when, uh, me in school, I'm like, oh my god, there's gonna be fucking, telling me when I'm in fucking uh, high school, like, later there's gonna be fucking video game leagues where there's gonna be teams and shit. Like, that's fucked. You can't, I mean, the, the, the article said like, well, we're trying to go along with the students' interests, you know, the 72% of the students identify as gamers. So, you know, we're trying to evolve with them and whatnot. And that's fucked. It's like super futuristic to me. I'm just like, I just picture like people in like VR headsets and like high school is like, like this is like way down the line there's like in some weird fucking bubble room like like oh our team's really good and it's just like fuck it's all fucked i don't know whole thing is just wacky no shooters allowed apparently just sports games and mobas and fighter games no shooter games uh they they don't like that it's too violent for them even though that's like the most competitive game mobas are actually up there with along with shooters as well but uh you know when, you, when I think about competitive games, I think about Overwatch and Call of Duty and all that bullshit. But, uh, yeah, so I guess high school kids now or whenever the fuck this gets implemented are psyched. They get to play, be video game superstars for their state. Like, we got the state trophy, guys. So good for you guys. I'm happy that you get to go be superstars. Why does everyone want everything to be a sport? Because sports are respectable, Cameron. And it's the same with skateboarding. Video games, everyone's like, oh, can we be sports too? Because not all people can be football stars like you! I'd rather be a cricket star. That's not a sport. Well, you were blessed with the gift of football. <laughs> this guy's great at it. I am. Uh, next story, Cam. Labo's here, guys. Guess what? Labo's here. Did you even remember it was coming? Oh, here it is. I don't give a shit. Do you? Who fucking knows? Like, Cam, do you care? Uh... Yeah, do you I care at all? Are you gonna even look at Labo and even? I forgot think about for a it. Second? Till, I forgot about it till like two days ago. <laughs> right? I'm serious. No one cares. There was hype around it for like a week, and then everybody was just like, "Oh yeah, Labo. Yeah, when is that coming? Like next year or what? Oh, oh, like soon? Like okay. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I see, I see like some unboxings on my in my sub box for some people that got it early, and I don't give a fuck. It's like gonna be some cardboard kitty bullshit. Fuck it. I hope it fails. And I think it will. Not immediately, but it's going to taper out. I think. That's just me. Yell at me in the comments like you always do. Get mad like you always do. Tell me I'm a bitch like you always do. Cameron, you silence that fucking phone when we're on set. It's a Papa John's ad. It's a live set. The Deadpool 2 trailer that came out yesterday was amazing. It was the final trailer before the movie is released, and it was fucking awesome. Uh, I am way too excited for that. Uh, Avengers 4 is coming out in a week or so. Actually, a week exactly. And uh, I'm extremely excited for that too. But Deadpool 2 is right up there, pretty much even with Avengers 4. Maybe Avengers 4 edges out a little bit. But uh, they make a little, they poke at the, the DC Universe. They poke a little, a little stick at the DC Universe over there. They mention Thanos and everything in a joking manner, obviously. You know Deadpool. If you haven't seen the first one, go watch it. And then you'll go, holy fuck, there's a new one right now! Um, so yeah, it looked fucking amazing, got me really excited, I was smiling the whole time. Go watch the trailer if you haven't already. And if you're one of those people that get mad at me for cussing in the comments, you're gonna hate it. Grow up, and you're probably a child getting mad at me for cussing, and when you do grow up, your world's gonna be rocked when you step outside your parents' house. Just saying. Cussing is not that big of a deal, it's just fucking words. They're just words, guys. Some people have the nerve to get mad at me for cussing, Cam, can you believe this? It is weird. Why are you, you know, on the internet? So many people in the comments are like, can you not cuss so much? I'm like, what is wrong with you? Those are the kind of kids that pull their pants down to the urinal. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm serious. Also, some uh, Fortnite news. Can you believe it? There's Fortnite news. Who would have guessed? Uh, apparently, it's got a 50 versus 50 mode. I don't know how many players it was versus how many players before. So I don't give a shit. If you think this is cool, then great. I'm just reporting the news. 50 v 50 mode in Fortnite. Whoopee. Hopefully we get some Pokemon news soon. Apparently there's some rumors for that. Looking forward to that. Fuck you, Fortnite. Bye.
What's up guys, George Clooney filling in for shame for the outro, the uh, in slate if you will. I didn't really like the way he talked about esports and Labo because me personally, I love Labo. I have, I've had it for a few days and Nintendo sent it to me early because I am a celebrity. Uh, and it was, it's amazing. Me and my son have been having a great time. The cardboard's real sturdy, it's good stuff. And uh, the esports stuff he talked about, I thought it was great. Uh, my kid's really excited uh, to get into esports when he gets in high school. I hope, <laughs> go hometown team, my team, haha. <laughs> But uh, thanks for watching. Shane wants you guys to like the video. He wants you to leave a comment. He tries to reply to the comments for you guys. He tries to talk to you guys. You know, you can DS, DM, us, DM us on Twitter, Instagram, the whole nine. Uh, and if you're new here, subscribe. And he said if you want to go above and beyond this, they apparently have a Patreon where you can support them for as low as a dollar a month. <laughs> I mean, I gave them $1,000 cash a minute ago to support the show. That's why I'm on the show. I love it so much. I just wanted to come be a part of it but anyways check that out and they said they love their current patrons you guys are amazing you're helping out greatly and uh, also bubby said if you wanted some content beyond this to check out his uh his second channel bubby and friends he's got some vlog stuff on there with his grandma whatever the whole nine anyways thanks again george truney uh signing out on the set of fu game crew i <laughs> uh, hope you guys have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world please out so I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. Thanks, George. Oh, wait, you're not George.